Dear family and friends of Kristen, what you are about to witness may shock and disturb. We advise that the following speech is rated MA for a mature audience. It is not suitable for those under the age of 15. Right. For today, we expose the secret life of Kristen T. Yes, that's right. We'll uncover the lies, the deception, the blatant disregard for decency. Today, you will see the real Kristen T. Now, Kristen, or Critten, as she liked to, likes to be called by her friends, is what you would call a social predator. When she meets someone new, she feels a great urge to befriend the poor soul and proceeds to launch a photo frenzy fiasco. Now, if you're in doubt of this, you'll just have to visit her Facebook page and you will see that she has over 1,000 friends and over three and a half thousand photos just of herself. Now, as you can imagine, we therefore had an extremely difficult time trying to find photos for her 21st. Despite uh, Kristen's claim that she never drinks, well, we have a few photos to show. She <laughs> enjoys a small beverage and these photos would suggest she enjoys them a bit too much. <laughs> Closet alcoholic maybe, Kristen? <laughs> Now, Kristen would also have you believe that she has an excellent sense of direction. But from our experience, she hardly knows what country we live in, let alone how to get anywhere. So in order to get anywhere, she relies on Google Maps printouts, her GPS, and even then, she'll still get it wrong. Yes, this complete lack of skills was evident one time when Kristen attempted to direct me to Tilly's house. Now, I've got a little video, uh, photo here. That path in blue is where we should have gone to Tilly's house. So not very far up northeast road. This red path coming up is <laughs> She also has no idea where any of her friends live. This is where we live. This is where Kristen thinks we live. <laughs> this map shows roughly where we live. Now Beth lives in Elizabeth, but according to this map she lives in Port Augusta. She doesn't live that far north, Kristen. And while Katusha does spend a great deal of time in Sydney, there's no reason to think she actually lives there. Now getting Kim's suburb, which is Hope Valley, and my own suburb, Happy Valley, mixed up, uh, you know, it, it's understandable, but when one's 30 minutes north from your house and I was 30 minutes south from your house, a little questionable. And finally, just because a suburb sounds like Tilly's name doesn't mean she actually lives there. I mean, Tilly Swamp, seriously? <laughs> Now, if there are any Simpson fans out there, you'll understand this next reference. Uh, <coughs> Dr. Hibbert has two things in common with Kristen. Firstly, he's a doctor, and, well, I guess you'll be able to work out the rest from this video we've got. Excuse me, sir, do you like to laugh? Well, only if something tickles me just right. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kristen, look up, look up. Hi. Oh, laugh, laugh. Hi. Are you recording? No, I'm going to take a photo. I need you laughing though, can you laugh? <laughs> now just remember Kristen, when you become a doctor you're not allowed to laugh at your patients if they have really funny conditions. Just <laughs> we'll give this video to Kristen so she can upload on her profile and then you can all see it. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to pester her about it. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Now, despite um, all that we have told you, Kristen is a loyal, caring and trustworthy friend. She throws herself wholeheartedly at anything she attempts and with her enthusiasm for life that leaves most people wondering where she gets it from. Her never-ending and unconditional love for God, her family and friends has made her one of the loveliest people we have the pleasure of knowing. Kristen, you are an awesome friend 
and we are both so lucky to count you as a friend. We wish you a happy 21st and a long and fulfilling life. Happy, happy birthday. birthday.